Hello and welcome to the channel. In this video we'll see how to add buttons to every row with content in Excel using VBA macros. So like these buttons here and we will also add another macro for each button to delete the respective row. So if I click the button it's going to delete that row. So let me close this and move to the Visual Basic editor. I have an, a similar file here with a similar data set. So we're going to do it from, from scratch and the first macro will be add btn to row so add buttons to the row and we're gonna use several variables so the first one will be entry row as an integer to hold the number of each row the second will be cell as a range and that will be the cell where we're gonna add the button and then finally btn is gonna be an object variable for each of the buttons we're gonna add so now we will start a loop for entry row, starting in row 2, because we want to skip the headers, to range A1, current region. And we've used the current region in several other videos. And then rows count. That will give the number of rows in the current region. Then for each row, we're going to set cell to a cell in column P. So we're going to be adding the buttons here in column P. So I can write here action. So cell is going to be range P in the row, entry row. And the cell is going to ha have the same name as the button. So we're going to call it BTN and entry row. OK, and that's the same name we will have for the buttons. You will see that in a moment. So let, let's just play this and see how that looks like. And as you see, it added a value, which is going to be the name of the button. So for row 2 is BTN2, for row 3, BTN3, and so on. Now we will add the button, and we're going to assign it to BTN. So with the active sheet buttons add, and here we're going to use the properties that we've used in several other videos as well. So the left of the cell and the top, and the width of the cell where we're going to add the button, and the height. OK, and then with BTN, the first thing we'll do is to change the caption, and it's going to say delete. And now we're going to change the name. And it's going to be exactly the same name that we added as a value in, in that cell. So, and that's important because in that way we will identify which button was clicked. And then finally we'll have an on action and here's going to call the delete btn rows macro. Okay, let's end the with here and play this. So I have run it. We have already the buttons here. And as you see, every button has that name. Yeah, btn2 in this case. And the cell has also that same name. So now let's go to the second macro. It's going to be delete BTN rows. And here we're going to use application color. So application color is going to return the name of the shape or the button in this case that has triggered that macro. So we're going to put that into a variable. I'm going to call BTN name. And Let's declare it. BTM name is going to be as a, a string. It's going to be BTN2, BTN3, and so on, right? That's going to be the name. And then we will need another variable. It's going to be target as a range. So, and now we're going to set the target to columns P, find, and it's going to find or it's going to search for the BTN name. And now rows. The target dot row is the row we want to delete. But before we delete it, let's change the interior color and see if that works. OK, so we don't need to run this macro again. We have the buttons there already. And now if I click, for example, let's say we want to delete this entry, this trade order with the ID 5 in row 3. And I click the delete button, it highlights that in yellow. So it works. Now we can replace this with 
delete. And if I click the button, it will delete that row. And it will delete any other row, you know, if, if we click the buttons. So that's how we add buttons to rows in Excel and trigger to delete the row using VVA macros. Thanks for watching.